What's going on guys? Batman Loves MC here today with another Dragon Ball Z talk video. And today I'm going to be discussing the possibilities of Akira Toriyama possibly um, somehow incorporating Bardock into his future Dragon Ball Z movies. Now I've talked briefly about this before in um, a few of my earlier videos, but I'm going to be doing it again. And... Um, what I would love to see, like I've said before, I'd love to see Bardock come back. I want Bardock to come back. I feel like they have to have him come back just to answer a lot of un um, unanswered questions and, you know, to patch up, like, I, mainly just a bunch of unanswered questions. Maybe they'd talk about Goku's mom or they would just have, first of all, they need to have Goku and Bardock meet. That's just something they have to do. It doesn't make sense how they haven't had that happen when um, everyone from hell has come from come to Earth like twice, once during the Janemba, um, from once during the Fusion Reborn movie with Janemba, and then one time with uh, the Super Android 17 Saga and GT. So you'd think Bardock would somehow um, appear to Goku and you know say hey or whatever, whatever the case may be. I believe Raditz actually came down with the Super Android 17 Saga, so it just doesn't really make sense how he never heard from Bardock and how he never came down. So I think they should make a whole another movie about Bardock. We don't know really hardly anything there is to know about him. He's kind of a mysterious character because all we did, all we know is from that one special Bardock, the father of Goku, which does not make any sense to me at least at all. He's Goku's dad. You'd think we'd know a lot more about him than we do. We know he's a Saiyan. We know he was kind of a jerk. And we know he really didn't care about Goku that much until he found out that Goku beats Frieza later on. Um, how, what they would have Bardock do, who knows. Maybe, uh, like I said, maybe he'd come from hell to earth and maybe he'd fight Goku. I've heard that possibility. Maybe he'd fight against Goku. Maybe he would just be friends with him. Maybe he'd even be a Z warrior. Who knows? But whatever it is, I just want to see it happen. I want to see it happen, and I want to see it happen soon. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of sitting here waiting. Well, then again, I guess we, we're going to have to wait for a little bit because we just got a Dragon Ball Z movie. But I'm just tired of sitting here waiting to hear back from everything, you know, waiting to know if there's going to be a Dragon Ball Z series, waiting about the new Dragon Ball Z games. I just, I hate, for, first of all, for me, I just have no patience. I have very little patience, period. And... It just bothers me to not to have all these unanswered questions, and for whatever reason, they have not incorporated Bardock into anything except for that one short special. So, I know a lot of people are interested in Bardock. I know a lot of people like Bardock. It'd be one thing if no one really cared. Like there are some Dragon Ball Z characters where no one really gives a crap, like uh, Chaozu and Yadrobi. Well, I guess not Yadrobi, but like Chaozu and a few other people. So. People do like Bardock. Um, a lot of fans love him. So I just don't get why they have nothing to do with him. I don't know why they just kind of had him in the one special and was just like, okay, forget about it from this point on. So really, like I said, they have to do something with him. For all the questions. So um, we saw that one little thing with him when he, where he fought Lord Chill or whatever. Freeze his ancestor. And that was... I'm not going to lie, that was pretty lame. That was really lame. First of all, I had to see it, in, like, fan fan dubbed. And, it, like like I said, it was pretty lame. Bardock went Super Saiyan. It was pretty cheesy. So, <clears throat> how he even went Super Saiyan, I don't know. Why he even went back, to, back in time, I don't know. But apparently that was in the manga. So, really, I just want to see a legit... Film. I know I've said this, but I just want my—I just want this to be heard by you know, like a Toriyama or someone, which it's not. But I just would love that. But I just want Bardock to be appear in a legit film where he meets Goku. Why? Why is that too much to ask? I mean, can you guys tell me if that's too much to ask? Is it? I—I I don't know. Apparently, it must be because they haven't done it. So tell me what your guys' thoughts on your guys. Tell me what your thoughts on that are. I'd love to hear it. Do you want to see Bardock? Is, are there any other characters you want to see, such as Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks? Or are you like me and you want to see Bardock? Some people want to see Raditz too, which that's probably not going to happen because a lot of people found him to be boring. And uh, plus he was really weak. So more than likely we're not going to see anything with Raditz. If we do get anything, it will probably be with Bardock, maybe. And that's just a possibility. So do you guys want to see it? Leave a comment down below. Um, Batman loves MC, and I will be seeing you guys later.